What's going on? What's happening, fellas? It's your boy, KD. Let's get right into it. So today we're going to talk about how to be more masculine. All right, and not just to look more masculine or be perceived as more masculine, but I'm going to help you guys out with some traits to how you can actually be more masculine. All right. Now, this is for you, fellas. Like I said, the more masculine you are, the better chances you're going to have of attracting women. But obviously, this is for you to feel better as a man. Uh, it ain't nothing better than being a masculine man, because one, like I always say, fellas, you will stand out from most men. All right, so let's get right into it. So the number one trait that you should have as a masculine man is confidence. All right, and I actually always get questions all the time from guys on how to be more confident. And I'm going to tell you what confidence comes from, man. Confidence comes from discipline. All right, that's the number one way you can gain confidence. Now, I'm going to be honest. Some guys are just born with like a sense of confidence. Sometimes it's arrogance, but Discipline is going to build confidence, man, because when you work hard and when you're diligent and when you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're staying true to yourself, confidence is just going to come out of nowhere, bro. You're just going to exude confidence because you know you're living true to yourself and you know you're working to the best of your capability. So guys always ask me, man, like I said, how do I get confidence? How do I be more confident? Confidence is not something that you can just be like you don't just wake up in the morning and be confident. Yes, the more and more uh, you practice certain things, you're going to be more confident, but uh, you have to work hard. You have to stay true to yourself. i give you a perfect example on how to build confidence. Guys always want to know how do I get more confident around women. I always say you have to talk to more women. All right. You have to fail. You have to try. You have to experiment different things. And that's essentially going to build your confidence. So to be a masculine man, fellas, you got to have confidence. I would say out of every trait that I'm going to talk about today, confidence is probably the number one thing. People will be able to feel your confidence as soon as they walk up on you. You know, like when a confident person walks in the room, guys, you can actually just feel his energy when they walk in the room. People like you can walk in the room and people have their back towards you and they're just going to turn around because they can feel your confidence and your competence when you walk in a room. So number one thing you need to have guys to be a more masculine man is confidence. Number two trait of a masculine man is that when you are a masculine man, bro, you will not tolerate disrespect or foolishness from anybody. Now, I always say it's not you being mean or it's not you, you just being intolerable to everything. But when somebody disrespects you, when somebody treats you bad, when somebody's coming around you with foolishness, bro, just talking about or doing things that you're just not interested in or it's a waste of time, you're not going to tolerate it. Now, you're not going to talk back to the person or disrespect them back because a true masculine man doesn't disrespect people. But you're just not going to tolerate it, bro. You're going to move around or you're going to check the person and let them know that you're not for the crap. All right. You're not you're not for the BS. You're not here to waste time. You're not here to play games. You're not here go, to go back and forth, you know, in a disrespectful manner with anybody. I don't care if it's women. I don't care if it's men. I don't care if it's I don't care who it is, bro. You will not tolerate disrespect. And this is something that's very attractive to women, because I always tell you guys that women will test you. And they will slightly disrespect you in some ways just to test your manhood and your masculinity. But when you stand up and you pass these tests and you show her that you will not tolerate disrespect from her, she is going to be attracted to you and she is going to respect you way more. All right. So being intolerable to disrespect and foolishness, guys, is another great trait of a true masculine man. So number three trait of a masculine man is high testosterone. Now, this is something just like everything else that you can't control. You know, I know some of you guys, you kind of don't know where your testosterone level is. And I know a lot of you guys, you don't get your testosterone checked. All right, I'm gonna tell you this, man. If you're a man over the age of 21, you should be getting your hormones checked frequently. Whether it's once a month, three times a year, once every quarter, once every six months, you need to get your testosterone and your hormones checked. And the reason why is because testosterone is a powerful hormone for men. It's really going to bring that masculinity out of you. It's going to you know, deepen your voice. You're going to be able to build muscle better. And that's another thing about being masculine, fellas. You got to get, you got to hit the weights, man. All right, you got to hit the weights. Masculinity, being a masculine man is just not about how you act and how you think. It's also about how you look. 
Now, there are some real masculine men that don't have like a great physique or don't have a lot of muscle. But when people look at you and you're built and you got muscle on you and you're strong, one of the things that they're going to think is, OK, that's a masculine man. Now, you obviously have to follow it up with all the other traits I'm talking about. But when you look like a masculine man, bro, you're just going to be perceived as more masculine to women, to other men. It's going to be less chances men are going to try you. Women are going to respect you because they know you're putting in the work in the gym. And it's just very attractive as a man, bro, to have a great physique and to have muscles. Okay, so two things, all right, about masculinity. You getting in the gym and hitting the weights and your testosterone. And I'm going to tell you this, the more you hit the weights, the more, more chances you have to build your testosterone. Testosterone is powerful, bro. Like women can actually feel testosterone when you walk in a the room. They can actually smell it, bro. The pheromones of your hormones kicking in, especially when you lifting weights, especially when you're doing something that's going to bring out ambition and aggressiveness about you. It actually flows around the, around the room. All right, the higher your testosterone is, the better chances you have of attracting women. Like you're going to notice, bro, when you raise your testosterone or if you already have high testosterone, women just kind of linger around you because they can feel it. Trust me, guys. Trust me. This is scientifically proven. I know this from experience and I know this from observance. All right. So like I said, if you haven't got your hormone levels checked, go to the doctor. It's real easy. Just go to your physician or your doctor. Ask them, can you get some blood work done? It's real inexpensive, especially if you have insurance. And make sure you get that check and make sure your testosterone is at the right levels. And if it's not, there's great at-home remedies to fix this. It has a lot to do with your diet. It has a lot to do with your physical activity. All right. But testosterone is a, I, I, I want to say, man, aside from confidence, testosterone is like one of the number one traits of a masculine man. Another way to be more masculine and to be seen as more masculine is, fellas, you got to stop goofing around. All right. Now, it's OK to have fun. It's OK to crack jokes. It's OK to laugh, be playful sometimes. But when you're too silly, bro, especially around women, you kind of lose that masculine edge. OK, women like stern men. Now, I'm not telling you, I always say this, I always use this example. You don't have to be the Terminator. All right. You don't have to be this cold dude who can't even crack a smile. But a lot of guys, they joke around and they play around too much. And that's not going to make you be perceived as masculine. All right. Like I said, you can have fun, have a lot of fun. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Life is meant to in, like experience and smile and laugh and have a great time. But when you're always playing around and laughing all hysterically around women, it's very unattractive to women. Now, there's some women that like it, but I tell you this, guys, over time, it gets very unattractive and you don't really look masculine. That's a female trait to be goofing around all the time, being silly, talking too much. You know, I'm not saying you can't be elaborative with how you speak, especially if you got a great point to deliver. But you have to understand, make your words effective. All right. You can say one sentence that is way more effective versus you rambling and just going off at the mouth and you really not even getting your point across. All right. So be very, very, very cautious with the way you speak. And another point about being masculine, masculine with the way you speak is how you speak, not just what you say. All right. You got to be smooth, fellas. All right. You got to be smooth. Don't talk too fast. Be smooth with your words. Slow your tempo down when you talk. All right. That way people can actually focus on what you're actually saying. Real masculine men, they don't talk too fast. All right. They talk at a good pace to where they're not wasting time and people get bored. But they also portray their words in a very smooth and methodical way. All right. So especially when you're talking to women, man, this is a big deal. Or if you're even talking to men like in a business situation or something like that. So when you're speaking to people, you need to practice. And you can do this, bro. You can practice in the mirror. Grab your phone, record yourself and just start talking about something and you'll start to see if your voice is too high pitch or if you're talking too fast or if you're kind of slurring around, stuttering with your words. Because masculine men, bro, they're very, very particular in how they speak. OK, when a masculine man starts to talk, everybody listens. That's what you want. You want when you speak, everybody stops and turn their heads and listen to to what you got to say. The last thing you want, fellas, as a man, is when you say something and people don't even care because of how you speak, you know, and your tonality and everything like that. 
All right, so pay attention to how you speak. Like I said, great tip you can do. And I used to do this when I was in sales. I used to grab my phone and record myself speaking. All right, and I'll, I'll record it, play it back, listen to it, and then I'll slowly correct myself with every single video, and then I'll get better and better and better, and then I'll use that Excel situation and it helped me out very, very much. All right, fellas? Now, the last way, the last way you can be more masculine is how you dress and how you smell. All right, fellas? So the way you dress tells a lot about your masculinity. All right, now, I'm not like this fashion guru, so I'm not going to give you guys fashion tips, but I'm going to just tell you this, bro. You got to dress masculine, and I think a, a big part of dress, dressing masculine, especially is the type of colors you wear. Now, I'm not off of bright colors, you know, lime green and bright, you know, baby blue and, and orange and yellow and all this stuff. Like, you can look really well with a great fashion sense and dress with, you know, normal, plain, neutral colors, black gray, navy blue, maybe dark brown, maybe dark green, white. Those are masculine colors. So when you go out shopping for your clothes, bro, be very, be very careful in the type of clothes you pick, also the colors you pick. And also when it comes to your wardrobe, fellas, dress like a man. When you go out to something formal, wear a suit. All right, I'm gonna just keep it G, wear a suit, wear a collar shirt, wear some nice pants, some nice shoes, dress masculine. All right, like all, all these new fashion things they got going on. Yeah, it's great, man. And, it, you know, you try, probably trying to keep up with the trends. But I'm going to tell you, bro, when you dress like a masculine man, a smooth masculine man, you got on a nice button down with the, you know, the top three buttons open with a nice blazer over it, bro. That is very, very masculine. Maybe you want to do a collar shirt. Maybe you just want to do a regular t-shirt like me. Like I don't really wear a lot of suits. I wear suits if I need to, but I'm mostly in a regular black or white or maybe gray, maybe gray uh, t-shirt. All right. That's, that's my style. That's how, I, that's how I get down. But my physique helps me look more masculine in that. So I always say, I, and this is my opinion. Some people have told me this, but I look better in a regular plain black t-shirt than a lot of guys do in a three-piece suit. And that leads me to one of my earlier points is your physique. Your physique has a lot to do with how masculine you're going to look. It's not going to tell the whole story, but it's just an added bonus. And when you take all these things that I talked about today and you put them together, you're going to look more masculine. You're going to be perceived as more masculine to people. All right. Don't ever let I mean, and this is my last point before I end the video, bro. Don't ever let anybody tell you that being masculine is a bad thing. Being masculine is a great thing. Like I said, today, nowadays, 2024, you're going to get a little bit of pushback because there's like this war on masculinity. And when you're too masculine and you're too much of a man and you actually stand for manly and masculine principles, people kind of call you toxic. They call it toxic masculinity is what they call it nowadays. But don't worry about that, bro, because you're going to get the best out of life. As much as some women may say, like some feminists may say, they don't like masculine men and all this stuff, bro. I don't care what they say. Every woman loves a masculine man, all right? People want to be around masculine men. And another point is how you smell. You got to get a good fragrance. As you guys know, I got my own fragrance, a top tier charisma fragrance. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram. I'm going to drop the link for my Instagram in the description. You can hit me up and get that. Selling bottles all week of that top tier charisma fragrance. And it is amazing, bro. It's a very masculine smell. It's kind of like a, a woody vanilla oud mix. All right. Very, very masculine. Very, very attractive to women. Uh, like I said, man, I, I spray that stuff on me when I go to sleep, G. That's how good it is. All right? I just love the smell. Women love the smell, bro. It's a beautiful smell. And uh, it's gonna, definitely going to attract women, all right? So, as I said again, fellas, being a masculine man is not a bad thing. It's actually going to get you a lot out of life as a man, all right? I appreciate you guys for watching the video today. Today's a quick one. Just wanted to drop these couple points because I've I've been having guys really talk about this. So, I wanted to give my, my feedback and my input on uh, how to be more masculine. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Please comment on what you think about the points. If you got anything else to add, please drop it in the comments. Shout out to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys for all the support. It's your boy KD. We out of here, baby.